hello and welcome to this excel video tutorial in this video i'm going to show us the new image function that was recently released into the better channel of excel for m365 wow this is an amazing function because it easily allows us to return image based on the source so in this example i'm going to show us how we can use the new image function with the filter dynamic array function and of course the h tag or the v tag so let's get started now our sample data set contains the name of players in column a the country they represent and of course the link to the images now by the way this data set is already stored as an excel table so we expect the structured referencing table features to work now in cell b13 we have a drop down here we can select any of the player name and of course in cell b12 i have a bunch of nested if statements here okay so i'm gonna just leave there now in cell b15 we're gonna work things from inside out in other words i'm gonna use the filter function and then the image function and then we're gonna use the h stack or the v stack now you might be wondering why do we need h tag or v stack now after we have returned the player's image at the cell below in cell b16 we want to display the name of the corresponding country that they represent okay now that's why i'm going to use the v stack here but if i want the name of the country to be delivered to cell c15 i'm going to use the H tag. So let's see how to do this and then we'll come back to the second example. So I'm going to come to cell B15 and deploy filter formula. Now for the filter, I need the array. Now because our data is already in Excel table, we see, we're going to see the name of the table and then the name of the column. Now this is going to be the array. I'm going to put in a comma. So for the include argument, I want all the list of players that equals to the unique selected name of player in cell B13. So I close the formula. Now when I control enter, it's gonna give me the link, okay, to Ronaldino Gaucho, which is what we have in row number six here. Okay, so when I change the drop down to, let's say, Cristiano Ronaldo, it automatically updates. Now I'm gonna F2 to put the formula in edit mode. And then we're gonna factor in the new image function, which is the amazing cool function. So I press the tab key now for the source, the filter formula will be the source. Now the image function has four optional arguments, which are alternative text, sizing, height, and the width. Those are not compulsory, we only need the source. So I'm gonna close the image formula. And when I control enter, boom, it returned the image of Cristiano Ronaldo. And when we move our mouse, we can see the picture more magnified okay now when i change to let's say um gigi buffon the great italian goalkeeper the formula automatically update or let's see another player called um leo messi and it works pretty fine so we're not done we need to use the h stack or the v stack now let's do the v stack we want to display the name of the country that they represent of course we know that Leo Messi represents Argentina at the national level so I'm going to F2 to put the formula in edit mode and then carefully come after the equal sign and deploy V stack and it vertically stacks arrays into one array so press the tab key now this is going to be the array one comma now for the array two I want to get the value that has been delivered in this cell b12 which i believe must be argentina i can close the formula and control enter bam we have argentina that's amazing i can see the reason why we're using the v stack so when i change to sadimani you can see it represents senegal and the image also automatically updates and let's see we want to see Ronaldino Gaucho, it automatically updates. Okay, so we can see the country here, yeah? but let's say I do not want it, I actually want it in the cell to the right. I can actually come back to the formula and instead of using the V stack, I'm going to use H stack and control enter and that deliver the name of the country to the cell to the right. This is amazing, and you can see the beauty of the new image function we can see frank ribery a place for france 
and let's go to the example number two by the way now we have the same data sets and of course we can get the images in so these two equal sign we can use the image function and then for the source we need to give the value here and we can close the formula and when a control enter bam it automatically fills down without the need for the auto fill that is cool that is amazing we can check them out that's beautiful so this is basically how we can use the brand new image function and with other dynamic functions in excel I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, you can like, comment, share, and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.